All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you guys another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day. Today is Saturday, February 15th of 2020. So guys, very exciting news. Uh, the incentivized testnet version for Daedalus has just been updated. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick little tip. So many of you have been experiencing some difficulties with getting the uh, wallet to connect to the network. And um, there's an error message saying that a wallet already exists. So a lot of people have got it to work, but for those of you people who have not had success, this video is gonna be for you. I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on how to get this working so that you can have the best user experience possible. So guys, if you enjoy this video today, please be sure to drop a like for me. It lets me know that you enjoy this type of content. And if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post cryptocurrency content like this, trying to keep you guys informed and up to date with everything crypto, blockchain, anything related to Cardano, news, all of that here on this channel. Go ahead and hit that notification bell also so you can get notified when I post a new video. So guys, to get things started, what we're going to be taking a look at here, so IOHK has just come out with the update for the incentivized testnet version of Daedalus, and this video, we're going to be taking a look at a fix that you will need to do so that the Daedalus version of the testnet wallet is gonna work seamlessly for you. So I'm gonna be walking you through that. In this video, I'm gonna be linking down in the description below to all of the necessary links that you will need to get started. What we're taking a look at here, this is gonna be the website address for downloading the incentivized testnet version wallet for Daedalus. So I'm gonna leave that link in the description below. If we scroll down here, Guys, I'm currently running on a Mac. If you are on a different operating system, whether it's Windows or Linux, you're gonna wanna choose this version for you, whichever computer you are running on, whichever operating system that you have. Uh, in my case, we're using a Mac, so I'm gonna click on that. But before I do, there is a quick little bit that we have to do so that the uh, contents from the old version of the Daedalus wallet doesn't get migrated over into the new version of Daedalus. So I'm going to be walking you through how to do that. Um, I found a link on the iohk.zendesk.com uh, website basically talking about what we would need to do so that we don't get the wallet already exists error message. So I'm going to leave a link to this down in the description as well. Uh, essentially what we have to do is delete the contents of the state directory. So the state directory is a list of all the local files that are stored on your machine that are relevant to the application, right? So you have data lists and there are files that are relevant for that. So we would have to delete those files before we can install the updated version of data lists. Uh, in this case, I like how they've made it so that Windows and Mac OS are together and then you have a separate version here for Linux. Um, guys, if you are running on a Linux operating system, uh, I do apologize. You guys will have to bear with me here. I'm running on a Mac, so, so I'm not going to be able to touch on the information here for Linux. But as you guys can see, there is steps to follow here for Linux. In this case, guys, I'm running on a Mac. So what we're going to do is follow the instructions for this operating system. Uh, in order to get started, what you would have to do first is open the state directory. So... If you guys are not familiar with how to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that here. If you click on this link, it's going to take you to another web page. This is here also on the IOHK Zendesk web page. Uh, so in order to open the state directory for the incentivized testnet version for Daedalus, what you want to do is go ahead and open Daedalus. I've went ahead and done that already. And we're going to navigate to the help menu on the top left of the application. So let me show you. What we're going to do, I've got Daedalus pulled up here. So on my screen, you guys can see we've got help at the top left. So we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna click on Daedalus Diagnostics. Okay, and then from here, there's a whole bunch of different things that we're looking at. Bunches of metrics, you know, talking about my machine and, and all that kind of stuff. What we wanna do is go over to where it says Core Info and we wanna click on, see where it says Daedalus State Directory. So I'm gonna click on Open and this should pull up a tab with all the files for your version of Daedalus. Now guys, this is going to be the Daedalus Rewards V1, so you guys wanna to check to make sure. 
And these are all of the relevant files for this version of Daedalus. What we're going to do before we uninstall the old version of Daedalus is we're going to delete all of these files. Quick way to do that here on Mac. If you go ahead and simply click, we're going to highlight all of these. And you just want to drag it over into the trash can. Well, when it works correctly, it should move them all over. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, bear with me guys, here we go. Okay, uh, I wanna highlight all of them and move them into the trash. Bam, okay, just like that, yep. So all of those files have now been removed. When you empty your trash can, it's going to delete those files permanently. After that is complete, we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so guys, after you have emptied the trash can, after moving the files from the state directory, you have successfully cleared the state directory for Daedalus. The next thing for us to do, let's go back to the instructions here. The next thing for us to do after deleting everything in the state directory is to open Daedalus again. So what I'm going to do is go back and I'm gonna close out of Daedalus and then I'm gonna reopen it. So guys, bear with me as I do that. Okay, so guys, we're back. I've went ahead and reopened my Daedalus Rewards wallet. And now that we have deleted the state directory, you should see that the version of Daedalus is how it was when you had first downloaded the application. So all of the files that were previously stored relevant to this application have been deleted. So we're back at square one. So this is exactly how it should look for you. Uh, you know, it's giving the option to choose your language, your date format, time format, etc. So this is exactly where we should be after we've deleted the state directory. The next thing for us to do is to delete this application. This is the old version of the Daedalus Incentivized Testnet wallet. So in order to delete it, what I'm going to do is close this application. If you click on the Go tab up at the top left on your desktop, Click on the drop down for application. Find the Daedalus Incentivized Testnet version of the application and simply drag it into your trash folder. This is for Mac again, guys. If you are operating on a Windows, the process is very similar. You can go into your control center, click the application, and delete. Um, so in the case that you are on a Mac, again, what you wanna do is click on the applications folder find the application and drag it into the trash can. After the application is inside of the trash can, go ahead and empty the trash can and you successfully deleted the application. Okay, so guys, once you have went ahead and successfully deleted the old version of the Daedalus wallet, when you click on the link that we were looking at on the web page at the beginning of the video, you're going to be able to download your version of the new updated Daedalus rewards wallet. After you have gone through the process of installing it, when you click on the application, uh, it's going to connect to the network. Mine actually did take quite a bit of time, so definitely do have to be patient with this, guys. It might take you a little bit of time, but hopefully it works for you. And after it has successfully connected to the network, you should be prompted here with the option to either create a new rewards wallet or restore your wallet from your recovery phrase. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on restore. And the type of wallet that we have here is the Daedalus wallet. And the number of words here, now I'm using my recovery wallet. So the uh, rewards recovery wallet is gonna be 15 words. So I'm gonna click on that and continue guys i'm going to go ahead and enter in my recovery phrase here for my rewards wallet and i will back and i'll be back with you guys as soon as i'm finished okay so guys after you have successfully entered in your recovery phrase and your spending password you should have this pop-up message here saying that your wallet has been successfully restored so guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I do hope that you guys find success with the new version of the incentivized testnet for Daedalus. If you guys did find some value from this video, go ahead and drop a like for me. It definitely lets me know that you did enjoy it and that you found some value. And if you guys are new to the channel and if you like videos like these, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
All right, you guys, until the next video, take care.